today i will design rfc series and rfc parallel circuit today firstly open psim new file and firstly we start rlc series circuit rl register inductor and capacitor are present in this series circuit firstly we connect in this simulation ac sine then we collect register and then we collect capacitor and inductor and place the emitter basically in series circuit we emitter connect also and door meter connect so we complete the wiring by using wire and then we connect ground in this circuit emitter we know nature current and we place a voltmeter across resistor 3 voltmeter place in parallel resistor inductor also capacitor and we connect the parallel in the resistor connect parallelly in inductor also connect parallel in the capacitor then we select click select and naming the value of AC sine wave it will disk and check the box and frequency will be 50 hertz you know AC is 50 hertz so we are naming the value of register and register value and we also naming in the inductor Ten milli Hindu and inductor and checkbox we show the naming in the simulation page and naming the capacitor also change the value value will be I decided nine as you default value and you can change your given value and we also naming the voltmeter. Then we save the file. Renaming the file. Then we save the open wiring is complete and we save it done. Then we will run simulation on. And we also reminder it simulation control watch is always 0.01 second and we can run simulation on and we select all the voltmeter and emitter and add and ok we see the graph mainly we see the all the graph in one window if we want to split all the value in split and x you see the value in extra window we can we see the value all the value and graph in one window if we can split the value i1 and v1 we can it and we and we see R1 and V1 in one window and we can split I1 and V2 also another window we show we can show
and I1 and V2, we can see in an extra window. We can make another window add by using closely follow in this video. And we can I1 and V3 also. We we'll see how can it's splitting the value. We can show the graph in one split window or one window. What do you want? And next we we'll start RLC parallel circuit. We know parallel circuit current divide, so we measure in this circuit this emitter and we measure current. Firstly, we add pickup a component is equal to source resistor and we can flip resistor inductor and capacitor by using mouse right click and we add the emitter we also care about reminder that mm, the small knob of emitter will be one sided positive sided small black not seeing the emitter portion also resistor in front we place this is positive side because we know positive negative how can we measure we, we see the positive is black portion is, is this is our positive so we can complete wiring we see in the video this is a positive show because the small black black portion will be present this is a show measure positive and we can complete the wiring and we place a ground and we can complete the wiring And we change the value of AC source. Also name the change value and emitter name change. And we can change the resistor value. Also, also name change. And we change the another name and emitter value, and also change component. We can change capacitor emit capacitor connected emitter also capacitor value. After complete the circuit, you can save the file, naming the file, and then we run on simulation. We all the components select and place OK. Then we see the one window, all the value will be show. We see I versus I1 inductor current, and also we can split. I1 versus I2 because I1 we know main branch current also I1 is resistor drop current we see one drop and we can speed and we also measure the value in another another window and we can speed we see the value I1 versus I2 main branch current and inductor current we can compare and also compare uh, the I1 branch current also capacitor branch current we can thank you everyone to see